In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each of these atoms here in HSO4 minus, the hydrogen sulfate ion. These general rules, they'll help us figure that out. So let's look at the rules. We can see that hydrogen, when it's bonded to a nonmetal, and sulfur, that's a nonmetal, oxygen as well, nonmetal, is plus one. So the oxidation number on the hydrogen, that's going to be a plus one. Sulfur, we're not going to see in our list here. However, we do see oxygen here, and that's always minus two, except in just a few cases. So this is going to be each one of these four oxygens is minus two. So the thing we don't know is this here. And we know this rule here as well. If we have an ion, all the oxidation numbers have to add up to the charge on the ion. That's minus one here. So let's think of it this way. We have a one for the hydrogen, plus we don't know the sulfur, plus four times minus two, that gives us a minus eight, and that's gonna equal the charge on the ion. We said that's a minus one. So if we can figure out what this number is, we'll know the oxidation number for sulfur. One plus six, that would give us seven, plus minus eight, that would give us minus one. So the oxidation number on the sulfur, that's gonna be a plus six. So to recap, we figured out the ones that we knew, the hydrogen and the oxygen, and we use that along with the fact that in an ion, all the numbers add up to the charge of the ion to figure out the oxidation number for sulfur. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for the atoms in HSO4 minus hydrogen sulfate ion. Thanks for watching.